A journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. The repetitive barking cough that is not present once the child is asleep is the diagnostic criteria. While cough may interfere with falling asleep, the cough gone once asleep is the diagnostic sine qua non for this peculiar disorder. Hi, I'm Bethany. I'm 12 years old. I could do anything any kid could do before my cough. When I couldn't stop coughing, it made me really sad. Dr. Weinberger taught me how to make my cough go away in only 10 minutes. <laughs> I told you, right? The total number? Yeah. We don't want to keep cows. We just want to be No, no. You should tell Hunter. We kept a precise diary of every event during this horrible time. We're releasing it out onto our website so that anybody can look at it also to see if they feel that they fit the criteria of this terrible habit cough. We eventually ruled out everything working with our doctors trying to figure out what this was. One of our doctors early on said, tell your body to stop coughing. But that's all she knew. There was no other information available at the time. As you see here, we uh, ruled out basically everything. Everything over the counter and we even looked at GI reflux. We even checked her saliva, which wound up to be in a good range. We were at wit's end. We didn't know what to do. Then after three months, we had a huge fine habit cough in adolescent children by Dr. Berman. And it was such a relief. We're like, wow, somebody knows. Through more research, we wound up tracking down Dr. Anbar out of uh, Upstate uh, University Medical. And I sent him an email, and he was the first person to mention Dr. Miles Weinberger. As luck would have it, I found Dr. Weinberger's email address. I sent him an email with our diary, asking him if it might help him in some way. He actually sent me an email that I saw right when I got home, and he said, call me tonight. And he had this awesome paper, The Habit Cough, how to diagnose it and to treat it. We were blown away. He actually said, call me. I called him and he asked, does Bethany wake up with the cough in the middle of the night? I said, no. He knew right then and there that it had to be habit cough. We arranged for him to Skype two days later. He wanted Bethany to be there with a glass of water ready to concentrate. What you're about to see shocked and amazed us. I planned on recording audio only. But about three minutes in, I realized something really incredible was happening. I picked up my wife's phone and I began to film because no one would believe what we were about to see. Great girl. You've done it. Over three minutes. Hey. <coughs> <coughs> no. Once you cough once, try not to let it happen again. <coughs> Try and hold it back because that causes more irritation mm -hmm. and makes you cough more. But you did it for over three minutes. Okay. Did it get a little bit easier that time? Mm -hmm. Still hard though, huh? 
Okay, we're gonna go for four minutes now. Yeah, okay. You're doing it, you're doing great. You went three minutes before you coughed. Mm -hmm. So I bet you can do four minutes too. Yeah, you can do it. Okay. So just keep thinking, keep concentrating. Yep, you gotta concentrate. Because you've gotta be, he'll be, be aware of what's making you cough. Because it's kind of automatic, but it's kind of like breathing. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to think about breathing, but you can control your breathing if you want. You can hold your breath, you can breathe more. Mm -hmm. and remember what I said, you start feeling that, take a slow, deep breath, because it helps a little bit too. And in addition to sipping a little bit of water. Great. Great. Have you ever had a mosquito bite? No? Mm -hmm. You never had a bug bite? Mm -hmm. Never had anything on your skin that itches? Mm -hmm. You ever notice that the more you scratch it, the more it itches? Mm -hmm. And you have to stop scratching it? This is kind of the same thing. Uh, the more you cough, the more it causes that feeling back there that you have to cough again. And just like you have to stop scratching something in order to heal up and stop bothering you, you've got to control the cough, which is harder than not scratching. I'm not saying this is an easy thing to do. If it was an easy thing, we wouldn't be here. It's hard because it goes on and on and on. But what you're doing is learning to hold it back, even for a little bit. And the longer you can hold it back, the easier it's going to get. You've got almost three minutes now. Almost. And you get one more minute. Okay. The longer you can hold it back, the easier it's going to get. But it's hard to do. It takes a lot of concentration. Don't let your mind wander. Your mind wanders, and this automatic cough's going to come again. So you got to keep thinking about it. Kind of boring, but it's important. Hang on there. Keep thinking. Yeah, yeah. Slow deep breath too. Slow breath. Good girl. Hi, girl. You're doing great. Another 20 seconds, you'll have gone four minutes. Okay. Slow, deep breath. Make that, control that annoying feeling. And that feeling has occurred because of this very long period of you've been coughing. I'll look back. Okay, you've gone four minutes. You're doing well? Hang in. Keep concentrating. Keep concentrating. Guys, we're going to go five minutes next. Five minutes. Slow breath. Relax, but keep focused on me and think of nothing else but be aware of it before it pops. Be aware of what you're feeling before. And when you feel it, take a slow, deep breath. Take a sip of water, but keep controlling it. Good girl. Good girl. Okay. Take slow, deep breaths. Relax. And just keep listening to me and stay focused. Think of nothing else. Okay? You're going to do five minutes, and I'm sure you can, right? Because you did four minutes. If you can do four minutes, you can do five minutes, can't you? Right? You can. But it takes takes a lot of brain power to do that, doesn't it? Yeah, I know. It's hard. Okay? So you keep thinking, keep concentrating, take some slow, deep breaths. 
real slow, real slow, real slow, very slow. Relax, stay relaxed. You're doing great. You're doing great. Stay focused. Keep your eyes on me. Don't look anywhere else. Don't think of anything else. You gotta keep your mind working on one thing, on one thing, and that's not responding to that feeling there. I just, I'm not gonna do that. You do it, hang on. Good, good girl. Good girl. That's right. That was hard. You're feeling it there, right? Take slow, deep breaths. Slow, 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 slow. Great. Okay. Concentrate. Keep your mind focused on that one thing. Don't think of anything else. You're getting all your brain power on one thing, because you've got a lot of brain power, but usually it thinks of a lot of things. So right now you're not letting it go anywhere else except concentrating on when you feel that, hold it back, take a deep breath, sip a little water. Yeah, that'll help. But the main thing is using your brain to hold it back, to control. You're going to take control. You're not going to let the cough take control. Because you're, you're smarter than the cough, aren't you? Yeah. You're doing great. Hang on. It's hard. It takes a lot. Hold it back. Good girl. Good girl. Hard thing to do. So, it's, you really have to concentrate. Okay, you're doing well. You're doing well. Okay. But the longer you go, the easier it's going to get. The longer you can go, the easier it's going to get. Okay? It's still going to be there. It's not going to go away completely. Not for a day or so, because you've coughed for months. So you've irritated it back there. You've bothered it. And that's what's causing the cough. But if you can stop it from happening, it's gradually going to heal up. And you won't have to cough like you have been. 20 seconds, it'll be five minutes. Hey, you can go that much longer, can't you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's be on it now, but take. Slow deep breath. Slow deep breath. Good, you're, you're good at this. I can tell you're good at this. Hey, you've gone five minutes. You've gone five minutes. We're going for six minutes now. Okay. You've gone for five minutes. Still, still there, right? Slow deep breaths. Slow deep breaths. Okay? Keep concentrating. Because the longer you go, the easier it's going to get. It's getting a little bit easier now, isn't it? To hold back. I saw it was going to come out there, and you did a good job of holding it back. And that's what you got to do. Your brain has to be the boss here. You have to be the boss, not the cough. Cough is kind of automatic. It just happens without you thinking about it. But if you think about it, you can hold it back. Not easy, but you've been doing it. You've done it for five minutes and we're going into six minutes now. Okay. Keep concentrating. Think of nothing else but holding back. Think of nothing else and take slow, deep breaths when you start feeling anything.
good girl. Hey. Hey. You're going to send that cough packing, aren't you? I'm sure you will. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now that feeling isn't going to go away completely, but not for a day. What you're doing is learning how to take control and not have it keep going because the more it coughs, the more it's going to cough. The cough causes the cough. So if you hold back the cough, if you get your brain to do that, it's going to gradually get better. You're doing great. Nice slow breaths. Relax, but stay focused on me. Keep thinking of nothing but the cough, not the feeling that you're holding it back. The feeling of holding it back. And you keep holding it back. Okay, keep doing that. Getting the feeling to slow, deep breath to relax. Slow, deep breath, keep looking at me. Slow, deep breath. Great. Okay. Keep focus. Remember, it's the cough that's been causing the cough. The cough causes more irritation there, and it's irritation that makes someone cough. And so you have to break the cycle. You have to break the cycle. You're doing great. Keep holding it back. Keep holding it back. Slow deep breaths. Keep concentrating. Yeah. You're doing great. You're very good at this. You're very good at this. But it's working, isn't it? You're able to hold it back longer. Each time, you're able to hold it back a little bit longer. Okay? And we're going for seven minutes this time. Seven minutes, and you're doing it. In seven minutes. Right? Keep concentrating. Very boring, I know. Just have your mind on one thing but it's important because that's the way you get control of something that your body wants to do. And that's what you're doing. You're taking control. You're gonna say, yes, I've got that feeling that I have to cough, but I'm not gonna let it happen because I'm the boss. Okay, slow deep breaths. Slow deep breaths. Right. Keep concentrating. Great, you're, you're doing it. It's fantastic. Fantastic. You're really good at this. You're getting there. You're getting there. Yeah, because the longer you go, gradually it's going to get easier. And it's getting a little easier, isn't it? It's not gone yet, but it's getting a little easier to hold it back. And that means your brain is controlling it instead of just letting it happen. Okay, good girl. Good girl. Okay, yeah. This is not a real common problem that you have, but you're not the only one in the world that's at it. Mm -hmm. I've seen a lot of other kids with this. It used to be about 70 a year in our clinic, so that's not common, but it happens. And this is what you have to do to get it under control, to get your brain to take control 
of what your body is trying to do when you're not thinking about it. And that slow deep breaths and concentrating. You've gone seven minutes. We're going for eight minutes now. Okay. You're getting there, aren't you? Yeah. Feeling you've got a little more control over it now, huh? Yeah. Okay. So we're going for eight minutes. Great. Just hang in. Keep concentrating. Keep saying, I can control that. I can control it. I can feel it, but I don't want to not let the cough happen. I'm just not going to let it happen. I'm not going to let it happen. Take a slow, deep breath when you need to, if you feel anything. Good. You're doing great. You're on your way to an addition to the seven minutes. And you did seven minutes in addition to six minutes. So you've done 13 minutes already. That you've held it back. Yeah. And you're going to keep doing it. Because the longer you do it, the easier it's going to gradually get. The longer you do it, it's gradually going to get. It's not going to make it feel it go away right away. It takes, it's, it's like a bite that you've been scratching. It takes a while to heal up. But until you stop scratching, it doesn't heal. It's the same thing until, until we, until your brain learns to control that cough and not respond to that feeling. It's going to keep happening. Good girl. You're feeling it now, huh? I can tell. I can tell when you're feeling it. And that's when you've got to really concentrate. That's when you've got to really concentrate. Yeah. Slow, deep breaths. Slow, deep breaths. Slow deep breaths. You know, when you add up the different times, it's getting to be over 20 minutes since you cough. And that shows you can do it, right? Not easy. We're going to go longer because the longer you go, the easier it's going to get. The longer you go, the easier it's going to get. That's what you have to keep thinking about. Because you're controlling it. It's not controlling you. You're the boss. Your brain, your brain can control it. Not just respond to that feeling. Hey, you're on. Okay. You're doing fantastic. You're really doing well. Feeling is still there, but you've gone more than 20 minutes controlling it. Okay, we'll keep going a few more minutes because I want you to keep controlling it. Because keep in mind, you're the one that's controlling it. I'm not doing anything except teaching you what to do. You're the one doing it, which means you can keep doing it even if I'm not there, right? I think you can. Because what we're doing here, you can do on your own later if the feeling is still there and starts bothering you. And if you do this, if you keep thinking about it, again, the longer you go without puffing, the easier it's going to get. And after
after a day or so, that feeling's going to go away as you as it heals. Like a bite that's itchy, you just got to heal up. It takes a little while. So keep some water around. Keep some water by your bedside. And remember the slow, deep breaths. When you're feeling something, you do something else other than coughing. You say, I'm not going to cough. I'm going to take a deep breath. I'm going to sip a little water. I'm just not going to cough. Okay? Because you can control it, right? You've been doing it. So you know it can be done. You know it can be done. And that means anytime it starts happening, you think about it, you can control it. It's when you're not thinking about it that it happens by itself. You're still feeling it, but you're controlling it. Remember the slow breaths too. So, Again, that nasty feeling is there, huh? But you're controlling it now. It's not controlling you. half an hour now. I think you can keep doing it on your own now, can't you? I think you can. Yeah. So what I'm going to do now is I want you to just keep thinking of your own. Okay? Keep thinking on your own. Okay? Slow breaths. Don't let that feeling make you cough because you know you can hold it back. You've done it. You've done it for half an hour. So you can do it. Not easy. But you're showing you can control it. Take slow breaths. Slow, deep breaths. It's bothering you, isn't it? Yeah. But you're controlling it, even though it bothers you. Because you're taking control. You're not letting it control you. you have to keep doing. You may have to do it for a while. It's going to gradually get easier. Gradually gets easier. Keep thinking about it. Hold it back. Good girl. Keep looking at Mel when you and take a slow deep breath. Slow deep breath. That helps a little, huh? Take the slow deep breath. for a while now, can't you? Okay. Let me talk to your mom and dad. But you keep thinking by yourself. You keep control. Mom and dad, are you there? Yes.
So here we are, Dr. Yim's office. What did we do today? Did we? And she can't talk a whole lot because she's still, uh, w w still recovering. So, yeah, and she has to cough right now. And, and hold on, hold on. What do you do? <coughs> do that. <laughs> right. <coughs> Great job, let's walk. So we're we're gonna go and have a treat. So uh Dr. Yim was wonderful. He did a great job. No, I don't want you to. Doc, Dr. Wine? No, try not to. No, no, try not to. Take it. Do one. All right, what? One more minute. One more minute. One more minute. Hold on, hold on. I'll tell you when time's up. Take a sip of water. One more minute. I'm always going to say one more minute. That was only six. Normally it's 12. So good. You cut it in half, okay? Good girl. How do you feel? Ugh. So Dr. Weinberger said, let's shave off a little bit, basically. That's my words. But he said, make, you know, if you're going to cough 12 times, only cough six. And then, then you cough five. What you doing? Taking my medicine. What's your medicine? Uh, if you start feeling anything. Oh, great. Thank you for teaching me how to make my cough go away, Dr. Weinberger. If I can do it, you can do it too. On our way home from Dr. Yim's visit, Bethany saw the sign and yelled, Daddy, turn around. Wow. Follow your steps and drink your water, just like Dr. Weinberger said. Dr. Miles Weinberger, you certainly are a miles from ordinary. The goal she reached is to be a flower girl in her friends, weddings, and more. My full session with Dr. Weinberger is on our website at habitcough.com. Please be advised, this was our experience with Dr. Weinberger. Yours might certainly differ, but... Talk to your pediatrician, talk to your pulmonologist, talk to your child's doctor, and let them know about HabitCough.com.